Hello everyone, this is Bobby Gunner Who here, and welcome to episode 2 of Let's Play The Original Toja No for the Sega Jetta Drive. In the last episode, we started the game and gone through the first four levels of, well, the game. <clears throat> oh god, it's, there's insane deers here too, and these guys are dicks. They hurt really hard, and uh. <laughs> yeah, and they got that obnoxious laugh too. God, it's like. That's worse than the hyenas laugh. And I love hyenas. And yeah, and don't be surprised if I'm gonna start speeding up here now just without cutting some things, cause it's good. Cause there's good some levels where you can we the only way to get from like one island to the next is by uncovering hidden paths, which you can only find out by Caving the outline of the islands constantly until you find him pattern. I just found it really tedious, so screw that. I'm using Equus Wings. Which, compared to the third game, I guess seeing the fourth game, they don't really last that long, honestly. Which I guess makes sense. I mean, they're pretty overpowered, so. <laughs> but still. Oh, another telephone. Got two blocks? Uh, no. I'm broke. There you are. <laughs> Just what I did. Got that, I got up in Pinocian too. I'm Point of Dexter's Lavatory. <laughs> and I get also get an extra life. Yay, no, no, no. Don't you dare. I know, yeah, whenever you start the game, you immediately mean, start off with four bonus highs because they know how slow you go. Also, I wish I I high tops all the time, but I wish. Um... No, no, yeah, Cupids are here too, and they basically screw around with your controls. So you get hit, just like in the third and fourth games. Oh yeah, I think it says four, but. If you go on past like this one, they'll actually speed you up quite more jolly, so if you wanna get some a little bit of extra speed then go on these wells and hey can you notice I'm actually take you to somewhere special. Or I could take you to a horror and enemies and shut up. Uh, so yeah. Man. Wow, it's literally been four years since I Last LP, the third game. Oh, shit, PC here, and good game. It's been four years since I've done the third, third game. <laughs> and like, it's been over, over year two since I did the random mode playthrough, which I streamed as well. <laughs> Personally, I don't know if I'll do a random mode stream playthrough for this as well. I mean, honestly, it was pretty sl slow and tedious to do this playthrough this game as well, so I'm not really in the mood to do a random mode playthrough. Maybe one day, but I really don't want it right now. I guess whenever I do it, I'll, I'll play as Earl too, so that's that. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'll see when so we're not collecting 12 finals here, are you? Well, yeah, we. Get 10 pieces of the. Okay, one thing that sucks about the high tops is that you can. Yeah, you can. Charging will jump as you go over like a little gap or something. And why also you need a gun? You can't we. No, you knew it all. You're stuck in the arc like Castlevania style, so that place really sucks. Oh! Okay. Who put cheese sauce here everywhere? Okay, this is sand. And sand basically does slow you down, which obviously sucks. <clears throat> hey, Ma I gotta commend people for this sprite, sprite work here. This, the, the sprite work they did here in this game is absolutely amazing. Toji and I look wonderful in this game. Th this game looks great for 1991 standards, it really does. So yeah, so 
But yeah, personally, I basically think the third and even the fourth game is better than this game, because... I mean, this game's not bad at all, I mean... Do you like this game? Then kudos to you, I mean... There's probably many people's childhood favorites, I bet, but... Just comparing this to the third and fourth games... This just... It's a bit too slow and... A bit too tedious for my liking, honestly. I personally think Tojin and Noah could have. Well, never. Oh, but Tojin definitely could have gone a lot more faster here. I mean, can't say. Pick up the pace. I wish that was a one button, honestly. Ugh. Would just, if I ever do the second game, that would definitely be pretty interesting, because the second game is a. It's probably the only. It's a 2D side scroller. So I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in that game. I know it has the hyperfunk sound though, so that's that'll be good. You know, it's anything like the fourth game's one. <sighs> also, the soundtrack in this game is amazing. All I expect is a game more about funk, so of course the soundtrack's gonna be bloody amazing. At least there's no rapping here, because well, how you supposed to do? Yeah, well. I guess one odd thing I don't really like in the third game. The game's supposed to be all about funk, but it is, in the third game they sort of do a bunch of rap songs on and what does rapping have to do with funk anyway? I mean, it is just funky rapping, but still. That was something quite odd that didn't catch me. Um. No, I think I was supposed to find a shit piece too. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah, well, it's about damn time that I didn't know a touch an old game, honestly. It's really since the, the fourth game is out, and I have played it. It's just a shame my computer crashes when I nearly complete, nearly finish the one in that game, so. It'll probably be a while until I do the fourth game. Again, I had to buy again, which I don't really like, so. <sighs> or unless I find some way to play stream games on my console, which. I know it might be possible. I know you can just streaming my stream games to another console won't work. I want I won't be able to access stream directly off of my PS4 or Xbox One or whatever. Because playing my computer is just not good enough. I know, but plus it's gonna buy it again, which I don't really like, but. I'm not gonna do it just yet, I don't wanna waste my money on just buying two versions of the bloody game. Eh. So, I'm probably gonna do the fourth game after I've done the second game, probably. Who knows. <sighs> this time I drink there, so my throat doesn't get all sore. Okay, here's the elevator. Let's do one to level seven. Yeah, so we're definitely a quarter way through the game now, which is good. And I can get a sneak shot. I think there's water here, but I don't think there's enough for me to to um. I haven't got the word. Oh, that doesn't matter. You know, I, just, I just don't want to use the yeah. What's it? Inner two. I don't, I don't really want to use the inner two. I mean. Oh, Santa Funk! No! I know it's April, but come on! He's just gone and been already. I had all my chocolate. Why? And, oh god. Yeah, those scenarios were turn two. And since this is on a top down 2D playing here instead of a 3D playing, there's less space to go around and. Oh my god, why are the bees as an enemy? Oh my. Oh my Jesus Christ. And also, you end up losing all your lives on this game, you basically have to read 
do the entire game over again. I think that's what a fourth game actually, so... Oh, it's because I have Ruby, isn't it? <laughs> so... Yeah, I... That's what I was talking about now. <laughs> uh... Oh, piss off. <laughs> God. And I keep getting hit, hit playing, get a chance to shoot. Oh my god, why do you take so many shots to kill? I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. Thank god I got save states. Miss a shot. Oh my god. I can't even run away from these guys. <laughs> and yeah, you, you don't spend all you can for sleep and yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, you know a sneak. Something useful for trying to get the sand of fungi in his presence, really. I don't think I ever actually got on sand of fog in the third game, but but for the first and fourth games, it is definitely very good to get Santa Fox between small presents that can either help you or or just ruin your day. Thank God there's a doorway. And why can't I go through that door? Also, spring shoes in the first game kind of suck, honestly. You don't really jump that far, and you end end up just bouncing about on. On the floor and able to new for a few seconds. So spring, spring shoes in the first game kind of suck. Dad, nothing what they like compared to the third game. Well, heck, in the fourth game, spring shoes are much more better news in the fourth game. In the first game, they suck. So that's kind of sad because we really like spring shoes in the third and fourth game games. But here they, in the first game, they suck. So that makes me sad. Also, I can't believe it takes long to mention, but uh, I mentioned Tertiary Noah did get weird signs when the third game came around. No, Tertiary Noah basically got more clothing than that. Because <coughs> here in the first game, Tojen Tojen doesn't really have fingerless gloves or heck, any a t-shirt or pants, so. Here you see a Tojin here is only wearing a cap, uh, of course his bling bling necklace and his sneakers. Otherwise Tojin is naked. Oh my. Oh well, he's an alien. So he doesn't have any... Ugh, I'm not gonna go, <laughs> I'm not gonna go in for context. At least he wish to, oh uh, well, wear shorts at least. I think he doesn't even wear that bloody hat. I don't know. Personally, I got nothing wrong with the weed signs I got in the third game. I mean, I practically grew up with the weed signs anyway, so. I mean, I got nothing wrong with the weed signs. Heck, they even use the signs from the third game and the fourth game, too. Hey, did you. And then can you do you hate the weed signs that it give to Touch and in the third game? You can still play as the old You can still play as the good old school signs of Touch and in the fourth game too. That's own character, so everyone wins. Yay! <clears throat> oh yeah, I got nine. One of these we use the classical modern weed signs of Touch and L. It's like Class Saga Mon Sonic. Sure, they're both pretty different, but I got no one both and they're both Sonic to me. Just, I want to say you got a, a, a smaller and smaller, cuter kitty like Sonic, and top we got a lankier, more teenage like Sonic. I got no one even to sign. So, I, why do so many people keep, keep hanging flame wars so he's. Classic Monster is beyond me. Sonic Boonsonic, though, is 
definitely need to get more news to, but honestly, Boonstalk is fine. I just don't think you need all that extra bandage and that scarf. Bit unnecessary. Kind of a bit, a bit cluttered. <sighs> yeah, I know. I tell you, I, I know we like Sonic Boom redesigns. Honestly, just basically gave Sonic. So basically, just gave Sonic friends um extra crap on them that they didn't need. And of course, I think Nussles look up, up. Abominably out of proportion. That's enough said about Knuckles. So I don't know. Okay. Anyways, enough about Sonic. I'm calling a friggin' Twister. Let me go. Let me go. Okay, thank you. Didn't. Yeah. Hey, unlike the Ferging, it's when when you fall down the pit, just take a little bit of damage, or maybe the devil pop up. If you fall, if you fall down, down in this game, it basically just take it back to the previous level. I think the fourth game does that as well. So, nope, fall down. Otherwise, you have to find the elevator again, and get all the way back to where you were, and that's not fun. Uh, also, I'm lost. Where, the, where the heck is the elevator? Where is it? I'm trying to see if I've got any useful presents here. All they do is give me five Sundays. I'm not saying in terms of how I'm doing fine, thank you. God, you know I hate these hidden pathways. They keep merging with each other and they keep the go bloody everywhere, I just... Honestly, a lot of science games are a bit too big and complicated for my tastes. I mean, late stages of the third game were like that as well. But a little sign of four games is certainly a lot better than it was in the first game. I find it too modelled for my liking, honestly. Okay, can this... <laughs> Oh god, can these guys leave me alone? Oh, got telephone. Is it here? Nope. Did it pathways? Not even that? Oh god, I'm using rocket skates. Which, aside from that launch off, which is potentially getting killed, these rocket skates in this game is actually pretty easy to control, actually. And you can get, like, mean rocket skates, you could just twirl around the deep pad circles and you should be fine. So honestly, I really love the rocket skates in this game. They're basically a much better version of the high tops, honestly. As long as you're able to control them, of course. And of course, as long as you're not now pathways, which you fly... Because you can easily fly into the pits, not being able to control yourself in mid-air. Yeah, they definitely got better in the third game, thanks to the 3D stuff, but... <laughs> okay, I know where the elevator is now, but God, I had to, I basically want to win if I was looking for it. Mm. Okay, going too far to white. Uh, honestly, I can't reach out a mini map, honestly. Well, I know the third game didn't do that, but the fourth game did, so. Mm. Just push out a mini map, and. Got to end off here, so next time let's play Torch and Now, which I'll be going through some more levels, so I'll see you later guys.